enough at home to eat and drink. They are the ones who are actually in more like Yanishiv and the rest of the Saleh So So here is the poor people, and feeding poor people is a good thing anyway. You understand that? That's another objection, another big objection. Oh, poor people, they, are, they, they don't feed the poor people, they're eating the rich, rich people are eating. But first of all, remember that there's a sadhaka and nafili, which is not uh, compulsory or obligatory, like zakat. Zakat only poor people can eat. You understand that? Or there's a sadhaka of nazar, that somebody made a, 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 a manat, and he's given that's only for, for the poor people. Or maybe kafara, compensation. That will go for the, for the poor people. But the optional, anybody can eat. You understand that? Anybody can eat that. So, uh, rich and or, or, or poor as well. Another point which is a delicate, we should all understand that, that we all admit, if there is an elderly person die, because we're talking about the Solomon chair, I'm coming to that point, uh, I have to discuss this first to come to that point, still short, briefly. That when there is an elderly person, a father, for example, any father died, he left his uh, young children, under age, under age of adulthood, they are still not adults. You understand that? And if they are adult, they will call orphan children yutama. Yatim is single, yutama is plural. You understand that? No, if the uh, uh, someone takes out the money from that yutama yatim's orphan's money, which is their father's inheritance, and they are using the do, uh, to do the khatam and salas from that money. And the children are very young. You see that? Maybe, you know, the person died and uh, left by four or five children. Maybe one, forget about five, one child will die early. Even that one orphan child is there, and the wealth goes to that person until he's not agreed, he's a very young child. We also say it's illegal to eat from that. We shouldn't eat that money because it belongs to an orphan person, uh, child. You see that? But in the same family, if the young man died, father is alive there. You understand that? Or brother is alive there. He said, I'm going to do a sarasama for my own money. He will no problem. He can do that. And anybody can eat that. You poor or the rich, they, they all can eat. You understand that? Why? Because we th think about often. They often hear that often children, they get the uh, 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 benefits as well. But back home, there is no benefit for them. So if there is a money, they should be safe for them. And keep that safe until they grown up and earn their own. You understand that? <coughs> so, but if there's, for example, they are rich, highly rich. The mother is still alive. She's got plenty of money, and if this, even if you, for example, there's plenty of uh, wealth and in, uh, in uh, cash wise as well, if you share, still that person who died, he has got still his own right in one third of the total. total. You see, from that one third, or oh, this is okay, we're going to do the salary saw for them, but when you're going to uh, uh, calculate the, all the money and the inheritance, we'll do the from one third, this will be uh, actually first of all, then we can do the rest of it. You understand that? That's fine. Anybody can eat that as well. So these solutions are always there. So what we do is that now we come come back. You understand that point that we understand these things are the legal way. Let me tell you a couple of things of them as well. Is that which we mentioned before many times I mentioned this one thing and I like I've been to, I told you all this thing before as well. In the Quran Kareem, they said uh, said that they bring you out the one of the verse, Allah said insana illa masa. Yes? That there's nothing for the human. But what they hear in this, this book there, they are answering you there as well. They are quoting all this uh, wording in there, and they give you answer to which I give you the answer a number of times before. So, the answer of that, uh, specifically the wording, they say that there is nothing for the human, or whatever they attend. Whatever they earn, sorry. So whatever the person earns, that is for them. Well, we said that first of all, when somebody talks about the earning, we said to them, that's true that if you can only depend on whatever you earn. If you start depending on somebody else, and they may turn around, and they don't give you anything. So what's going to happen then? Because you're relying upon the others. We said that don't rely upon the others. What you should do is that you must earn yourself and then you depend on that. But when you say to somebody that don't depend on the others, depend on yourself, that doesn't mean that if somebody else 
gives you something and uh, that's not legal. For example, if father said that to you, that have your own earning. Whatever you can earn is going to be for you. you know, that doesn't mean that later on father gives you a tenner and you think that this uh, is not valid. Is it going to be not valid? Or maybe your brother give you a tenner. Or anybody else gives you, I give you, or you give me, anybody gives. You understand that? So it they says that actually this is that what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meant to say that don't depend on the other, you have to be stay active as well. But then as long as you are Muslim and die Muslim, so if anybody else try to kiss you, then that will be in your account. There will be no, no problem at all. You understand that? There's a number of Messiah, I don't know where I start from this and where should I end. I'm thinking of starting from the beginning and you all that out for you. Also, I'm thinking that I just quote you the specific part and go ahead. Ya Allah, help me in the sense that I make it short and a quick. Okay, on that, that on this, that's one of the uh, wording this says. This is the Abbas, Ibn Abbas, he says that, that this verse is been cancelled by another verse, which is through the Taha, says that the people who they had, uh, uh, you know, you could uh, we learn about uh, Nasr and Mansur previously. So it's been Mansur by that verse that people who they followed their parent in the Imam and their actions are not as good as their parents. Parent was strong in belief and same time had a good activity as well. They were active, good Muslims. So if the children are not as good as the parent, what Allah is going to do in the Day of Judgment will take them up in the game. While the people, person who have strong Iman and good activity, they will be in the upper, uh, high class of paradise. In the sense, they have classes in paradise as well. So the children who they doesn't have that, that strong, but they, they follow them in Iman. Iman they are correct. You know, this is why we said that as long as they are believer, once they are believer, then all this reward is for them. But if they die kafir, anybody die kafir is totally lost. Whether there's father or the mother or son or ch uh, daughter or whoever that is. So, on that base of the Quran, that Quran said that it's been cancelled by Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas said that it's cancelled by that verse. So the children don't have that good action, but because parents, they want to be with their children. You understand that? So no, parents are high class, they are pious, they are good people as well. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the happiness of the parent, upgrade them as well. So that means people will get the upgrade because of the others. You understand that? So this verse is cancelled anyhow. You understand that? So the reward will be, and the other hadiths are the very strong as well, hadiths as well. And also this is specialty of Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that uh, if one earns, the other people get the reward. Also they said about that verse as well in this book. They said that this was actually command for the people of uh, 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 other scripture, like Jewish and Christians. That rule was applied to them, not to us. Even ke liya maagi hai nahi. This is Umtah Muhammadiyah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's speciality. They can uh, uh, earn themselves as well and somebody else can reward them. You understand that? Okay. No, these are the things that there's a lot more question and answers are there. But I'm looking at the time. Today I think I'm, I'm uh, more concerned because people will jump in. Mm -hmm. And I want to finish before that. When there is no, nobody, no disturbance, then I just continue the way I want. Now, why are they doing Fatiha? That's Fatiha in the Sudan. Song. Third. You understand that? Third is actually... Rasulullah uh, sallallahu alayhi wa he says that when somebody dies, up to three days you can uh, mourn and also you can grieve, like you know you can cry, you miss somebody. That's called matam in our uh, 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 language. Somebody dies, so you have a death and you have the feeling of death. 